All right, Jamie Bruce here, just rigging up the new battleship for the year, my 2023 Lund Pro V Bass. Uh, something a little bit different this year, I've been getting tons of questions about, and that's powerhouse lithium batteries and just how I have my setup. We've got, you know, a, a pretty unique setup in this boat. Uh, there's been a lot of changes to technology lately, and uh, we're trying to take full advantage of it. So I'll give you the full walkthrough from the trolling motor to the separate 16 volt sonar battery all the way back to the cranker, the whole charging system. It's pretty complex, a little bit nerdy. Um, I've got a, a pretty rudimentary understanding of how this stuff works, so bear with me and uh, we'll give you the full tour. All right, first up here we've got the trolling motor system. Um, this is all new for me this year, but what I'm using is actually two 36 volt batteries. So, uh, you know, before you used to have to take three 12 volt batteries link them together in, in series and have a 36 volt system for these 36 volt trolling motors. Now you can have that all the way down into one battery. Um, so the powerhouse makes a 40 amp and a 60 amp, just single 36 volt battery. The 60 amp 36 volt is gonna be sufficient for most people, uh, most tournament situations, guides, everything like that, you're, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of juice in a lithium battery and you only need one battery now. So really handy there. They also come in 24 volts if you're running a 24 volt system as well. Um, but because I'm, you know, fishing nationally and, and competitively and, you know, I'm, I'm doing 16 hour days on the water and, and these big tournaments, I've actually got a second 36 volt battery, um, you know, just in case something happens to one and just to give me that, you know, that extra amperage probably overkill, but that's uh, that's the setup there. It's two 36 volt uh, powerhouse, 40 amp batteries run parallel to each other. Uh, so it's still 36 volts and they're tied into the trolling motor. And there's actually a, a charging system that I'll get into in a little bit here. Okay, next up is the powerhouse 16 volt. Um, this has been a hot topic. Uh, people have been buying up these batteries like crazy kind of starting to realize the advantages of them. Uh, this is my second season on one. And this is the 105 amp hour, uh, absolute beast of a battery, 105 amp hour battery at 16 volts. And what I do with this battery is run it exclusively for electronics. I've got live scopes running off of this, uh, side imaging, um, anything that really, you know, demands clean power, and lots of it. So um, I've, I've got all the electronics mounted directly to this. Then I've actually got it hooked up to a run and gun charging system that I'll talk about later. And it'll charge up from the big motor. Um, you know, lots of people ask, will the 16 volt make my live scope clearer, my side imaging clearer? What it does is allows your sonar to operate at its maximum efficiency. Being 16 volts over 12, it actually requires less amperage uh, you know, to power everything. So everything's gonna run a little bit cooler and you don't have to worry about voltage drop through bus bars and switches and butt connectors and wire size and wire runs. Uh, you're just, you're gonna have a bunch of power, more than you need. And, you know, it's just gonna eliminate that from trying to dial everything in. So there's really no reason not to run it. Uh, and you might be thinking, well, 16 volts, that's too much. My graph calls for 12 volts. Um, when if you actually look at the the owner's manuals uh, i believe hummingbird the helix they can take up to 20 volts the 8600 series from garmin can take up to 32 volts and the echo map ultras i think can take up to 20. Uh, lawrence can take up to 17. It's, it falls within the parameters of all of them and it's just got everything operating at its maximum range um, and another thing you might not think about too this is 105 amp hours at 16 volts so it's actually 25% more than a 12 volt battery. I don't know what the math is, but it'd be around equivalent to around 135 or 130 ish um, 12 volt amp hours. So I'm getting a little bit nerdy now. It's tons of power. I got five big grouse on this boat that are all power pigs and I'm not gonna have any problems there, especially with the run and gun charging system. And just one more thing about this system I've got this year. So. In this one, they've got three battery trays up here. You know, it's preset for a 36 volt system. Well, going to those two 36 volt batteries, what I've done is just freed up, you know, extra space for this one. Uh, took a whole battery out of the boat. So now I can have this big power pig up here 
and just direct runs to my front graphs, uh, you know, the factory power harness right into it. So that is the absolute best way to go about it if, you know, if you can swing it. So just uh, another reason that those 36 volt batteries are, are helpful. We'll uh, head to the back here and show you the house battery. Okay, last but not least, we've got a lithium 12 volt cranking battery. Uh, this is a new thing for me. Uh, you know, I've had one in the last few months in my old boat and really haven't had any issues, which is uh, not that common for me in a year. Usually I've got some form of issue, especially with my house battery at some point, but this is a 100 amp hour, 12 volt powerhouse lithium. Um, you know, you can see I've got it nicely mounted in here. You can get these high end aluminum trays with good straps. They're not just the cheap plastic ones. I want everything secure back here, especially when I head to Lake Ontario or wherever we're going, that's treacherous. Um, you know, I've got lots of wires. I've got lots going on back here. I've got bus bars and on offs and, and everything like that. But uh, a couple things about this battery, uh, it's hundred amp hour. So it's got tons of capacity. I mean, this is probably overkill. Uh, especially because I've got the 16 volt battery, but I just, like I said, I'm, I'm on the road and I want to make sure everything is, is, you know, everything's got a backup. So I've got tons of ba battery power here to run all my graphs if I need to. And one thing that's really cool about this battery, you won't be able to see it here, the button's back here, but it's actually a reserve um, section and it's like an emergency jump start. Uh, if you mess up and leave all your graphs on and your stereo rocking and you pass out in your beach chair and you wake up in the morning and your battery's dead, well, this actually saves 15% of the battery. So you just hit the button, it'll kick over that reserve capacity and you'll be able to fire everything up, run everything and get it all charged up. So super cool feature. You don't need to haul a booster pack around with you anymore or anything like that. Um, you know, just another good feature about having a lithium cranking battery. This has tons of cranking amps for any, you know, outboard and um, just uh, a nice rig here. So one thing I've alluded to and haven't talked about yet is the run and gun charging system. Um, you can see them both here and super simple installation. Um, this just hooks onto your house battery and then the outputs just go to, you know, I've got, I've got one to my 36 volts and then one to my 16 volt. Anytime that big motor's running, uh, it'll activate these chargers and they'll charge up while you're running. Uh, you know, even idling around, running on step, and it's just like having it plugged into the wall. So, I mean, it's very possible to fish for days and days and days and not have to worry about plugging in. If you're in an off-grid situation or, um, you know, I know I've been down at the cabin enough times and um, not had a 200 foot extension cord or anything like that. You just don't have to worry about that anymore, especially with the capacity on these lithium batteries. And these run and gun chargers, um, this was a little bit more complicated. I had to get RJ from Powerhouse to explain it. Um, so I've got in here, in here I've got an onboard charger. Uh, this is a Minn Kota four bank. You only need a three bank. So actually I'll take three of these banks uh, you know, for a total of 30 amps at 12 volts, run them all to this house battery. Once that house cranking battery goes over 80%, it's gonna activate the run and gun chargers and my whole system's gonna charge just off one plug in the back. So super simple for wiring, really convenient. Everything's in one place. And you know, it's, it's a really efficient and unique system that you know, people haven't really caught on to yet. Powerhouse is the first company to have taken this on and, and really push this game forward a little bit. We've been, you know, stuck in the in the basic old system for a while and, um, you know, it's really advancing and it's, it's one of the big things coming across the plate right now. And I mean, throw on top of that all the obvious advantages of lithium batteries. You can use the full battery so you essentially double your capacity over lead acid or AGM. Uh, the weight savings, uh, the longevity, the massive warranty that they come with. All right, so one more thing that we haven't touched on, uh, another really cool feature that comes with this whole powerhouse system is the powerhouse lithium app. Um, so I've got all my batteries on here. I've got my 12 volt, my 16 volt, and my 236 volts. I can check the status of all of them. I can see when they're charging. I can see how many amps they're discharging. I can see their status, their uh, capacity, everything. So I'll click here, 
This is one of my 36 amp batteries. It's fully charged. Everything should be fully charged up right now. Um, we'll go to the 16 volt. She's juiced up 99.99 .99 amp hours remaining. Total voltage 17.1. And what I can do is you know, I can turn on all my graphs and see what kind of amp draw I'm having. It's one thing to read it in a manual, but I can see it in real time. Um, you know, throughout the day, if, I, if, it, if I've been really hard on my batteries, I can see where they're at and kind of gauge it. It's just a lot more information, uh, pretty cool to have. And, uh, you know, just a feature that comes built into all the powerhouse batteries. It's not anything you have to get extra or anything like that. It's already there. So, um, really cool system this year. Uh, I'm glad that I'm kind of ahead of the curve on it. I get so many questions about batteries and about the system this year that hopefully I answered some. Uh, if you have any more, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, good luck fishing this season.